Hi, I'm Wilson, and today I'll be answering another set of questions and comments I received on the Logitech G502 Hero Mouse. I am not sponsored by Logitech. I just want to help you unleash the full potential of this mouse. Topics include scroll wheel clicking, console gaming, and the DPI switch button. If you find this video helpful, click like subscribe, and leave a comment below of what version of the G-Hub software you are using and what operating system you have it for. Any more questions you may have, feel free to leave a comment as well. I'll do my best to answer them accordingly. Please consider donating to my Cash App, and doing so helps me create more content for you. All the information is in the description. In my first tutorial, I was asked if Inkscape is needed to run the Logitech software. The short answer is no. The reason why I used Inkscape is to illustrate how to set up your mouse bindings based on the app of your choice. In this case, it was Inkscape. Now, what is Inkscape? Inkscape is a free, open-source app that allows you to make vector graphics. It's like Adobe Illustrator, but it's free. I highly recommend using it to create your own graphics. More information about Inkscape is in the description, including a download link. As I said in my first tutorial, I do not use this mouse for gaming. However, there are some tutorials I have seen that cover this subject in depth. Some viewers really enjoy this mouse pad. It was a gift from a friend. It features the American flag, the Declaration of Independence, and the Liberty Bell. The one thing I really like about this mouse pad is the fact that it's... Now unto the scroll wheel. The scroll wheel only has three button functions built in. There's the middle click, left scroll, and right scroll button. These buttons on the scroll wheel can be programmed. Here's one example. You can turn the scroll wheel's middle click into the primary click, meaning you can have it function as the left click button. On the G-Hub app, Click the Assignments panel, which is the plus icon. Now click on System. In the search bar, type PRI. You will see the word Primary Click in the menu. Then drag Primary Click to where it says Middle Click. When you see the text turn blue, let it go. If you see a warning sign below, don't worry, it's letting you know about the primary click change. Any button on the mouse can be programmed and reprogrammed, with the exception of the scroll wheel lock. Please note, the scroll wheel just moves up and down like any ordinary scroll wheel. The mouse is not designed to have a programmable scroll wheel feature. It just rolls up and rolls down. Another common question I get is the DPI switch button, which is below the scroll wheel lock button. This button, like the other buttons on the G502, is programmable. In terms of profile switching, I will make a separate video going more in depth on profile switching manually. In order to be notified on that video, Click the bell icon to be notified on your device. One viewer surprised me with this comment. I never thought of using this mouse as a means to help you when your keyboard is not working. The greatest part of making the first G502 tutorial was the many thanks I received from the people I helped. My personal favorites are about people who just bought this mouse and needed help. I want to say a special thank you to YouTuber Big Smoke for being my 100th subscriber and YouTuber Baggins YouTube for being my 200th subscriber. Thank you. I also want to say thank you to those who find my voice helpful. 
These comments make my day. Well, I hope this helped. Please leave a comment of what version of G-Hub you are using and on what OS if you need help. Any questions, leave a comment. I will be making more videos on this mouse, so click subscribe and the bell icon for your notifications. And again, please consider donating to my Cash App. Your donations will help me get better equipment to make these videos. All information is in the description.